Hey buddy, you don't know what to do, do ya? Oh, another one comes up. So there's always so goddamn many cars coming up my road and it creates so much road noise that it's really annoying when you're trying to start a vlog and they just keep coming. So I'm gonna sit in my car because at least it's gonna dampen the road noise for a bit. Right, so basically today I am doing a photo shoot on a mate's Holden Commodore. Uh, before we get there, I need to clean my car just so it looks nice because it's really, really not nice. Uh, all the pollen on the trees keeps falling off. That car's covered in pollen. Um, brakes are... Uh, brake dust all over the wheels. So I do want to paint these moulds on the uh, door black. But I tried taking it off. It's in the inside, you got to screw down here. I tried taking it off. But it wouldn't pop off. So... Any of you guys know how to get that off properly without breaking anything? Let me know. Mmm, yeah, satisfying looking fun. Uh, looking way better. Much, much better. It's quite amusing, the weather forecast for today was meant to be uh, overcast and rainy, but uh, as you can see, it's very much sunshine. So I very much hope that it stays this way so we uh, can get some sick air shots tonight. I do have my front bumper and rear bumper, so I'm kind of tempted to test fit it. But then I can't really get it fitted for the next couple of months. Well, I say fitted, but I'll do it myself. But I can't get it wrapped or painted for the next couple of months. And I've been quoted like 400 a bumper. So, kind of seems pointless to go put it on. Like, yep, yeah, cool, fits. Um, I don't have all the parts for it anyway. If I get all the parts, I might put it on, just leave it unpainted. But obviously, it would probably get damaged then. And I'm not a fan of that. Other thing I want to do is black out these dumbass headlights. And I seen that they now have aftermarket ones for the lenses, so I might buy some new ones of those and uh, black them out, try to put some angel eyes or something. That'll be a fun video. Alright, so I've just arrived at location number one. Totally forgot to pick up the camera and uh, film coming here. It's only like a 20 minute drive anyway. Um, I've gotten here a little bit early so I can test the camera gear out, just make sure like the lighting's alright or not. Not that I'm a professional photographer or anything like that. But Gotta try, right? So this is the first location, and then up there. So he's got a white Commodore. Um, so I was thinking the black up there would contrast quite nicely with the white. I think they're white and black yin yang kind of thing. So we'll see how that goes once he gets there. Um, should be good. Hell yeah. Howdy, dude. I don't wear shoes on my car, it's crazy. Bro. You gotta wear shoes? No, I don't wear shoes on my car. You don't wear shoes? No, I'm not on my car, I'm on my truck, not on my things, bro. doing our rolling shots now um, we might just go down we might just go down this road at like 50 k's or something um, otherwise we're going to the motorway looking good like it should you want to do it into the side is that going to work against you or with you normally uh, against, against you, you yeah, so I a little bit um, do you want to go back up and do another downhill or do you want what we can do is we can just go back up yeah 
and then come back down and then I'm just gonna look through photos and see how they look and just then that fucking GM behind me was gonna look my car looked really shit and just pissed me off and I was like he could at least back off a bit like I was like stop it bro like we're doing the speed of a fuck off <laughs> most people won't they'll, they'll look at me hanging out a window taking photos and be like fuck this guy yeah oh. that's what they do when it comes to shit like this is people are just fuckwits and yeah, just will like, like intentionally get in the way yeah, I was like yo you're getting closer and closer now for no apparent reason you're not gonna pass me if you don't wanna pass me just chill like that's annoying <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's because they're telling you to get off the road. That's basically what they're doing. Um, so yeah, we'll go up, jump in the medium, come back over. Um, that was a bit too bright, obviously, because the sun. So I'm hoping that uh, the next time we come back down, it's not too bad. My SD card was playing up, being a little slow. So that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to take my shots and then edit. They, they quickly change my settings and go do it again. But no, I wanted to sit there and... Like, nah, not right now, dead fuck you. Yeah, 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 pretty much. <laughs> So I'm just finishing up the uh, edits to the photos. They look really, really good. I'm happy with how they came out. Uh, definitely, obviously, a few things to improve on. Uh, being rolling shots, changing shutter speed and stuff like that. Uh, location changes and stuff like that. It's so funny because every single time I go for a photo shoot in someone else's car, the weather's pretty much like overcast and crap for the most part. And then every other day, I'm like, oh, weather looks good. Lighting's awesome. Should go for a shoot. And then I'm like, oh, head up a mate. And then, you know, always happens. Find someone and it's overcast. Next day, it's great weather. You know, just annoyed because great weather means great shoots. Anyway, if you do like this kind of vlogs, get again, let me know. So, uh, follow my Instagram and Facebook um, if you want to see the photos. Peace.